All right, so we started getting some messages for our posting, and I'm gonna go through them, we're gonna look at them. I'm gonna show you basically what message I usually send and what things to look for when trying to hire someone. So just to let you know that some of the messages got sent here, but some of the messages got sent to my email. I don't know if this is a bug with onlinejobs.ph, but the people that I messaged in the earlier part of this video, they their response went to my email. So anyways, let's start, let's look through here. So all these ones here on the top are new. They have not yet been um, responded to, as you can see by the date. So let's see what they have to say. You know, I'm just gonna look at a lot of their profiles and this person, virtual assistant writing data entry. She, she'd probably be okay. I don't know if she has video editing experience. You know, she doesn't really have any video editing experience or anything like that. I, I'll still, I'll still uh, interview her. I mean, at this point, I'm all about, let's just interview via Skype as many people as possible. So I'm gonna put the reply message. So I have this one copy and pasted. I'll show it to you. Basically just says, hi, I wanna interview you tomorrow. Could you, oops. Could you do an interview tomorrow sometime between, actually I'm gonna change it to 9 a.m. 9 a.m. and 9, to 9 p.m. And, you know, I'd say a little bit more stuff there about, uh, if so, please let me know what time and what your Skype idea is. I just find this easiest, you know, I might change this in the future, but that way uh, it gives them the option. And also it kind of tests their knowledge. Are they able to figure out what time zone, are they able to figure out what time would work for them in the time zone? You got your job posting, da, da, da. You know, I could spend more time on all these, but the truth is, like I said, I'm just gonna message them and see which ones respond to me about the Skype call, because not all of them will. A lot of them will make uh, excuses and say, oh, I can't do it because of X, Y, and Z. So this way I'm not wasting my time on someone who won't even go to the Skype call. So what I'll do is if someone says, hey, yeah, I'd like to do the Skype call, then I'll review them a little bit closer. And you know, maybe if I need to, I'll cancel it but more than likely I'll, I'll keep it and at least give them a shot. You know, it only takes five minutes or so to Skype with someone. So that's not too long. Let's go back to the messages. So I'm just going in here, copy pasting. I think this person actually is, oh no, never mind. Some of the people are under 40 hours. You know, I probably shouldn't send them, them the message. I probably should just delete it. But um, yeah, it's my mistake. Like this person, I'm gonna delete them. I think it was this guy, right? No. Do, 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 do. So, kit. Go ahead and delete them. Actually, this person above, I read theirs earlier. They look really good. Um, they look like they'd be a good candidate. So I'm almost done here. 20 hours a week. Oops. Thirty plus. Well, she said thirty plus, so I'll at least give her an option. Now I'm gonna go to my email and I'm gonna email these people as well. It must have gave them my email because here's their actual email. So I'm just going to respond. I don't like this person said I'm available tomorrow from 2 to 5 p.m. Philippine time. Um, when I did the math on what that is my time, it's like midnight. So it's not really that helpful, but we'll see how it goes. So that, there you go. I sent out a bunch of these and I will follow up and I'll record some of the Skype calls next and I'll let you guys see me interviewing some of the people on Skype. So that should be fun. But hopefully by the end of this process, I, you will see everything that I'm doing to get an online VA and hopefully if everything goes well, it will not be that painful and hopefully I'll get a quality VA. So that's it for this part.